Today I want to talk about a bunch of products that I keep repurchasing over and over because I truly love these products and I really think they're worth the money. I have a mixture of some body care, a little bit of hair, some skincare, and a couple makeup products. And I want to make it clear that these are all products that I have purchased with my own money. These are not products that I have received in PR and that like I continue to receive in PR. These are products I have bought over and over again with my money. Before we get into it, if you're wondering what's on my eyes, I'm wearing the Unearthly Cosmetics Spring Magic Palette. I did do a tutorial of this eye look and that video is available for all of my channel members, my bright besties here on YouTube. If you do want to join my channel membership, I'll leave a link down below for you, but let's get into all of these products. I'm going to start with a product that I have probably repurchased the most number of times out of everything here and that is a moisturizer and it is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I have been buying this moisturizer for at least five years now and once I finish a tub, I immediately purchase another one. This is hands down just the best moisturizer for my dry skin. It is so luxurious feeling. It has such a nice smell to it. This is actually a brand new tub that I just opened the other day, but Tatcha is such a luxurious brand, and I hate that I've fallen in love with such an expensive moisturizer. I even got my boyfriend onto this moisturizer, but he only uses it like twice a week or so, but it sucks because I'm going through this faster than I used to. I have a little bit on the cap here. I'll waste a little bit for you guys, but it is just the best feeling moisturizer. If you have dry skin, you gotta try this one, but it is just so so hydrating on the skin. It feels amazing. It doesn't clog my pores, but I gotta say at this point, I feel like my skin is leaning a little bit more combo. I used to be super, super dry and I just like, I don't really know what changed, but I think I'm more combo. So as much as I love this moisturizer, I actually might switch it up once I finish this jar. And I think I want to try the water cream. So if you've tried the water cream and you have more combo skin, let me know your thoughts on that. But if you have dry skin, I highly, highly recommend this. I have two cleansers I have continued to repurchase. One is the Youth to the People kale and green tea spinach and vitamins cleanser and then the other is the inky list salicylic acid cleanser so the youth to the people one i've probably used for i gotta say like three years now. I think I first purchased it as a mini and I just love it as a second step in my double cleanse routine. So I'll first go in with some kind of cleansing balm, melt off all of my makeup, and then I'll go in with this cleanser. What I love about it is that it does not strip my skin at all. Like you know how some cleansers will just leave your skin feeling so dry after you wash your face? I do not have that problem with this cleanser. It really does help to remove the rest of my makeup in my cleansing routine. And I also just love that this one comes with a pump. Like it's just so annoying to kind of have to like, you know, do this with my messy ass hands hands that are covered in makeup balm and makeup as I'm washing my face. I just love the pump and I love that it keeps my skin feeling hydrated. Now the Inkyless Salicylic Acid Cleanser is the cleanser that I use in the shower in the morning time. Clearly it has salicylic acid in it which really just helps with my acne and my blemishes so that's why I like to use this one in the morning just because I know I'm putting on a good cleanser kind of getting everything off my skin from the night before. It does not irritate my skin. I still feel like it's pretty gentle and the Inkyless in general is just like a very inexpensive brand. So I think this is maybe my fourth bottle of this cleanser. Another acne product that I have continued to repurchase is the Peace Out Acne Dots. This one specifically is the Acne Day Dots, but I've also just used like the regular acne dots and they just do such a good job at clearing all the gunk out of any like big blemishes. So like I've been saying, I have combo skin, I have acne, but I'm also a skin picker. I will admit it. If there is any kind of blemish on my face, I will pick at it, especially a pimple. I love to pop a pimple. It is so satisfying to me. Sorry if that grosses you out, but I know some people out there are like me. <laughs> but what I do, if I have like a decent sized pimple, I squeezed it, some stuff came out, I will pop one of these on top and leave it on for a couple hours, maybe overnight. And this just pulls out any extra gunk that is still in the pimple and it just like really reduces the amount of time that the pimple is on my face for. And also by putting one of these on my face, I'm a lot less likely to continue to mess with the pimple because there's like a physical barrier on the pimple. You know what I mean? I know there are a lot of pimple patch brands out there, but I just really love these ones. I've been purchasing them for years. The last skincare product I want to talk about is the wax that I like to use to wax my upper lip and around my brows, and that is the Sally Hansen Microwavable Eyebrow Face and Lip Wax. I've talked about this product a lot in my empties video, but this is so inexpensive. I want to say it's less than $10 on Amazon. Here is what it looks like. It's very simple and straightforward. Pop this in the microwave for about two minutes. It has like a little stick with it. You just kind of mix it up, get some wax, put it on, and you don't need any strips. You just pull it right off once the wax is dried, and it takes all of the little hairs 
fingers off of my upper lip. And it's just so much cheaper and convenient to do it myself at home. I will also do it like in between my brows and under my brow right here. And it's just so easy to use. I think I discovered this wax like two years ago. So ever since then I have continued to repurchase this wax. Now let's talk about the one hair product that I will keep repurchasing forever with my short hair. And it is the Sexy Hair Powder Play. So this is only my first jar of this, but I did just repurchase it like last week because I'm running so, so low on this. And I use this every single time I style my hair. It is probably like one of the most important steps in my hair styling routine. What I love about this is that it's just a lightweight powder that adds so much volume and texture that if you have short hair, I think you would love it. I did put this in my hair yesterday. So like my hair will not stand up like this on its own. It needs a product like this that has a little bit of grit to it that's gonna add that volume. My hairstylist Jules got me onto this and I have not stopped using it since I bought it. I will continue to repurchase this as long as I have short hair. Next, I have three body products that I wanna talk about. First is the Whey Scalp and Body Scrub in the St. Bart scent. I first bought this, I wanna say probably two years ago after watching Lauren May Beauty. If you know, she absolutely loves this scrub in this scent and she always raves about it. So I was like, okay, sure, I'm gonna try it. And I have never loved a body scrub so dang much. This is almost a full tub. I just opened this last week, but I wanna say this is at least like my fourth or fifth tub at this point. Oh my gosh, I could just sit here and smell this all day. And what's nice about this scrub is that it actually kind of lathers a little bit. It's not just super scrubby and sugary. It gives you a nice lather as you're putting it on your skin. The smell does linger a little bit throughout the day. This is also another one of my boyfriend's favorite products. So like this and the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream is like, that's his skin routine. <laughs> but especially now in the summer, this is just the most perfect scent. I know they just came out with this and like, it's either perfume or just like a body spray, but I want that. And then I know a Tower 28 just came out with a gloss that's like this scent. And I'm like so intrigued by that. This is a pretty pricey product pretty pricey product. I try to get it during like the Sephora sale. This tub I actually just bought because I used some Ulta points in a purchase. It is a bougie scrub, but it is so luxurious in the shower. Next is more of a scent that I keep repurchasing. It is the Sol de Janeiro number 40. It's the black, amber, plum, and vanilla woods. Oh my gosh, another amazing scent. So I have the body mist of it and you can see I'm pretty low on this. This is actually my second body mist. I first got like the smaller version. I finished it because I would kind of use it as like my gym spray perfume and I just love smelling like that at the gym. I repurchased it and didn't realize that I got like this giant ass size but oh my gosh it's so good. But the first time I bought this scent was actually in the body butter and I can tell you exactly like where I was and where I was living. It was back in it was after I broke up with my ex. It was 2020, yeah. So I've been buying just like this scent in general since 2020. It's such like a bougie scent, but I like that it's a mixture of kind of fruitiness with the plum, but you also get a little bit of vanilla in there because I just love vanilla smells in general. I have also purchased this scent in the body wash and I'm currently using the deodorant version as well. So if you had asked me what is my favorite Sol de Janeiro scent, it's definitely number 40. Next is my favorite self tanner that I have been using for probably, I don't know, eight plus years. <laughs> like that's crazy. And that is the Loving Tan Two Hour Express Mousse. I first got into self tanning in high school. I remember using the like L'Oreal Sublime super smelly like gel lotion, like my senior year of high school. And around that time I was kind of getting into beauty YouTube and like all the beauty YouTubers, I think of like Jaclyn Hill, were always talking about the Loving Tan Tanner. But for me being in high school and like early college, I couldn't really afford this because I want to say it's like 40 plus dollars a bottle. So I would buy like the dupe version of like St. Moritz and like that one was fine And then at one point I think Loving Tan was doing a sale So I was like, oh my gosh I'm finally gonna try the self tanner that everyone talks about and I fell in love and I have not stopped using this tanner for I graduated high school ten years ago. I'd probably say eight or nine years. I've been using this tanner wild. I do not have a tan on right now. I think just like in general, I've kind of been better about like being more comfortable in my natural pale skin. Like I used to have a self tan on 365 days out of the year. And now I kind of do it more, a little more special occasion or like every other week. I don't do it weekly like I used to. But when I tan, this is the tanner that I'm using. But like I said, I've tried lots of different types of self tanners and like different formulas. And I definitely prefer a mousse because you can see the color going on. And what's interesting about the Loving Tan is that the undertone of these is almost a little bit reddish versus like Saint Tropez that's a little bit more green. So I think for me and my skin tone, I kind of prefer the more red undertone, but it's not orange. But with proper skin, 
skincare and exfoliating beforehand and then moisturizing my skin after I apply this. It lasts on me about a week and a half and I am perfectly happy with that. It is so easy to apply and I just have not found a tanner that I like more than this one. So unless I find something better, I will continue to repurchase this one. Now let's move on to the makeup category. So I wanna start with two setting sprays that I keep repurchasing. One is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and the other is Urban Decay All Nighter. I gotta start with All Nighter here. I feel like I first started using this when I worked at Ulta, like back when I was just out of high school, I was like 18, 19, and I was finally getting into more prestige makeup and like Urban Decay was like the it brand at that time. So I would just try everything from them and I have just always loved the setting spray. It really does lock in my makeup and make it last all night. Now this is not a spray that I use every day, but on special occasions where I need my makeup to last, this is the one that I'm grabbing for. Yeah, I have gone through bottles and bottles of this for again, probably eight years at this point. <laughs> That's crazy to think about. The Charlotte Tilbury one is a little bit more of a newer favorite and repurchase of mine. I first bought this, I wanna say like two or three years ago. I first got it as a mini size and at first I didn't really like it because of the scent. I love the finish it gives my skin. I love how it makes my makeup last, but the scent was just a little like medicinal to me, I think. Like, yeah, there's just something in there that reminds me of cough syrup and that's like the grossest thing in the world to me. But if I just don't think about that while I'm spraying it, it's totally fine. Like this is now my third bottle of this one. And I feel like this spray does a really good at just sinking all of the powders and just all your cream products into your skin and just giving you a really nice flawless finish. It's literally called the flawless setting spray. I agree with it though. So this one is more of my daily use setting spray. I do use this pretty much every single time I do my makeup. I'll also use it in between steps. That really helps just again, just blend everything into your skin a little bit better. So again, for all nighter, I use this one more for special occasions. I need my makeup to last all night, but for daily, just beautiful skin, I use the Charlotte Tilbury. Next, I gotta talk about my favorite full coverage concealer that I use for spot concealing. And if you watch my videos, you probably know this. It is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. So this is my second time repurchasing this concealer. I first first bought this concealer, it was around, I wanna say 2021 because I just needed something full coverage for my acne. Like I've just always had acne throughout my entire life at this point. <laughs> and I needed something that would cover it. So I did some research, I found this concealer, I fell in love. I finished my first two jars of this last year in my project pan and I immediately repurchased both shades that I use. So I use vanilla on more of my fair days and then custard on my more tan days. Today I used vanilla and I already have pan in it. And as someone that is a content creator, you know, I get a lot of PR, I try a lot of makeup. It's very rare for me to finish a product completely and want to repurchase it. So I feel like that just truly says how much I love this. If you have acne you want covered, any hyperpigmentation, just like anything that needs coverage, try this concealer. And I like that this is called the Soft Matte Concealer. I totally agree with that. It's not like a full coverage drying matte. It really is a soft matte finish. And again, like I said, I do have more dry combo skin, so it does not dry me out at all. And it lays really nicely on my blemishes. I have two powders that I wanna talk about. One is the Kosas Cloud Set, and the other is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. So for the Kosas Cloud Set, I believe this is my third one of this powder. I first got into this a couple years ago when Jamie Page was just raving about this powder and I was like, okay, I gotta try it. So I bought it and I fell in love with it as well. Again, with my dry skin, this powder does not dry me out. It does not make me look cakey. It is very lightweight, but what's nice about it is that it still lets the glow from your products kind of shine through. Like maybe you laid down a cream blush that has a glow to it. If you put this on top, it's not going to mattify your skin. It's just going to nicely set your skin, but still let those other products peek through. It's a very nice lightweight powder, but my beef with this product is the goddamn packaging. This has happened to every single powder I have bought. And again, this is my third one. They all break. And I know that I'm not the only one that this happens to, and I have to like maneuver the cap back together to get it to close, but... It's very frustrating, but the powder itself is beautiful. And then for the Charlotte Tilbury powder, this is another powder that I have in my two shades. So I have my lighter shade, shade one, and then my more tan shade, shade two. Now this mini one in shade one, I wanna say this is my second one of this powder. And you can see I have a pretty big pan in this and I've kind of been savoring this powder, but literally just last week I was like, I need to buy another one of these. So I finally bit the bullet and bought the full size of this 
That's crazy for me because I try to buy as many when I can, but I just love this powder so much that I needed it in the full size. I would say that this powder gives me a tiny bit of coverage, almost kind of like a powder foundation, but it also just really blurs the skin beautifully. So I like to use this powder more kind of in my T-zone area or like right around here where I have more pores. It really just blurs them out. I just love this powder and I'm so excited to finally have this one in the full size. I have two more makeup products to talk about. The first one is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. Now a brow pen is kind of newer to my routine. I'd say I started using it about two years ago. I think I first tried the Anastasia brow pen and then that one was just so expensive and I feel like I went through it really quickly because I found that brow pens kind of dry out quickly so I was like well I want to try a cheaper one. So I tried the NYX one and I have been hooked on this one. I want to say this is like my third or fourth brow pen. So when I do my brows I like to start with the brow pencil, kind of fill them in with that and then I like to use the brow pen to just draw an additional hair like strokes, kind of add a little bit more like definition and depth to my brow brows and it just does such a good job. It does have like a little shaker in here so you have to shake it before you use it. Some of them have leaked on me and I've heard other people say that as well and then again it can dry out kind of fast but I still love the product enough to continue to repurchase it and you can always get NYX on some kind of sale at Ulta. I know they do like buy one go and free all the time just like little deals like that. I love this brow pen and how inexpensive it is. I wasn't planning on talking about this because I kind of stopped using this product but I did repurchase it a lot and since we're talking about NYX products I thought I would just mention the NYX Brow Glue. So I just kind of recently stopped using this brow gel over the past couple months because my brow routine previously was like a pretty intense brow routine. I would take this NYX Brow Glue and I would use this to kind of do that laminated, super lifted look. Then I would use my brow pencil and my brow pen. But now I just kind of skip the whole lamination step and I just kind of go into the brow pencil as it is. But I just wanted to mention this because this is truly the strongest brow gel that I have used. And again, it's nice and inexpensive. I I want to say this is probably my third tube of this brow gel. So even though I'm not using it as consistently as I used to before, I still wanted to mention it in case you're looking for a good hold kind of laminating brow gel. This one is great. Now the last product is my Holy Grail eyeshadow primer. I think this is my third or fourth tube of it and it is the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. If you guys watch my videos, you know I love this eyeshadow primer and as someone that has been doing eyeshadow tutorials for years and years, I have tried so many eyeshadow primers and I just keep going back to this one for a couple reasons. Kind of a random thing I love about this is the packaging and how it has a flat side right here so you can just lay it on your table and it's not gonna like roll around because I hate when products are rolling around on my table. I love the little doe fit applicator that it has. It's nice and creamy to apply. I find that some eye primers can be kind of drying and that's just not what I want in an eyeshadow primer. And I also love how this one has a little bit of a tint to it. So it does help to cover up any redness and discoloration on your eyelids and this color does match my skin tone really well. And as an eyeshadow primer, should do. It also does a lock in my eyeshadow all day. It makes my eyeshadow more long wearing and it is just the best one that I have used. So again, this is another product that I will continue to repurchase until I can find something better. All right, so those are a lot of products that I have continued to repurchase with my own money. If you have any products that you keep on buying once you finish it, I would love to know down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.